Hi guys. So today we'll be looking at how to solve a simultaneous equation using a method known as uh, the Kramers rule. So the Kramers rule is used to solve uh, a 3x3, three three, a 2x2, two two, even a 4x4 four four, uh, matrix and I'll show you how that is done in a few seconds. So the first thing you have to know is that you have to know how to determine the determinants of a 2x2 two two matrix, a 3x3 three three matrix, depending on which type of matrix you're looking at. So it's very important that you know how to find the determinant. Hence, I've dropped a link in the description just in case you don't know how to find the, the, the determinants. So go through that first, then you can come, you can come here and uh, uh, go through how to find the values of uh, certain variables given simultaneous equations. Okay. So we have some examples. The first two examples are representing uh, two by two, two variables, and the second one is uh, the second two examples are representing uh, three by three, three variables. So let's start with the two by twos. Okay, so here's our first example. So what we're going to do is, uh, we're going to form a matrix. This matrix will of course be, the first one will be a two by two, which will be, we'll have three there, two, there we have two, there are three. Now these matrices, uh, this matrix that are formed rather, is just formed by the coefficients. The three, the two, which is that one, the two, the three, which is that one, like that. Then I'm going to do this. This whole thing is equals to whatever we have here, which is a three and seven. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the determinant of this matrix. Now the determinant of this matrix, I'm going to call it D. So D will be given the by the product of the major diagonal minus the product of the minor diagonal. Hence, the determinant will be 9 minus 4. That is this times that, which is 9. That times that, which is 4. We subtract the 2. Hence, our determinant in this case is 5. So we have found the value of D to be Five. Okay. Let's look at what else we need. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create uh, the next matrix. Now the next matrix we're going to create will look like this. These values that you see here, this matrix, the two by one matrix, which has a three and a seven. Since we want to find the value of x, the value of x, uh, the determinant of the value of x will be dx. So what you're going to do is. We're going to create another matrix which will look like this. From this matrix, the two by two that we have here, repeat the values of y as they are. But for the values of x, instead of writing the three and the two, since we're finding the determinant for the x values, what you're going to replace it with is these two values that you have here, which is a three and a seven. Now this will also work in the same way when you want to find the value for dy. So you will have the values of x will be maintained, which is 3 and 2. But it's the values of y or the coefficients of y which will be replaced by this, which is a 3 and a 7, like that. So I hope it's making sense. So applying that concept, the next thing now what we're going to do is we're going to find the determinant. So this determinant is dx. So the determinant dx will be found by 3 times 3, which is a 9, minus 7 times 2, which is 14. So dx will be equals to negative 5, like that. We're going to move on to this, this one here as well. It's applying the same thing. So this is dy. So this one is dx because we substituted the coefficients of x with uh, whatever we have on this side. This one is dy because we substituted the values of uh, the coefficients of y with whatever we have on this side of uh, the, the, the matrices that we formed there. So dy will be equals to 3 times 7, which is 21, minus 2 times 3, which is 6. Hence, dy is equals to 5. Like that. So now that we have the three determinants, let's see how uh, we can find the values of x and y. So finding the values of x and y, this is the easy part. The difficult part is finding the determinants. So to find the value of x, 
the value of x will simply be given by dx over d, just d. So to find the value of x, our dx we found negative 5, and our d, remember our d was 5, so subtracting the 2, the value of x is negative 1. To find the value of y, we're going to say dy, oh sorry, sorry, y is equals to dy over d. Now our dy in this case is just 5, and our d is also 5, like that. So meaning that the value of y is 1. So that's our solution set. x is equals to 1, and y is equals to, so x is negative 1, and y is equals to 1. Just like that. So let's do the next example as well. So for this example, I would urge you to pause the video, try it out, just like we did in the previous example, then uh, see if you get whatever I'm going to find as well. Okay, so assuming that you just did that, so let's go ahead and solve it now. So we form the matrix. The matrix form in this case will be 5, 7, negative 2, and 6. And on this side, we'll have the matrix 6, negative 4. Like that. So the first thing we're going to find is D. Now, remember, D is found by uh, the determinant of this matrix that we have here. So D will be equals to 5 times 6, which is 30, minus 2 times a negative 2 times 7 should give us negative 14. So the value of D will be 30 plus 14. Hence, D is equals to 44, like that. So we found the value of D. Let's find the value of uh, dx. So we're going to rewrite the matrix. So the matrix will be for the values of x, we shall replace them with these values that we have here, which is uh, 16 and negative 4. Like that. Then we write the values of y as they are, which is negative 2 and 6. So this will give us um, dx. So dx will be equals to, so let's find the determinant of dx. 16 times 6 should give us 96, minus negative 4 times negative 2 is positive 8, like that. So the value of dx will be equals to 88. So the value of dx is simply 88. Let's form the next matrix for dy. So for dy, we maintain the coefficients of uh, x, which is 5 and 7. But for the coefficients of y, we shall replace them with 16 and negative 4. So here we have 16 and negative 4, like that. Then dy will be equals to, so if we multiply 5 and 4, so 5 times 4, what we get is negative 20. Minus, if we multiply 16 and 7, we simply get 112. So that 112, uh, negative 20 minus 112, could give us dy being equals to negative 132, like that. So this is the easy part, or rather, this is the, 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 the difficult part. The easy part is just finding the values of x and y. So uh, x is equals to dx over d. So our dx, remember our dx is uh, 88, our d is 44. So the value of x is simply 2. The value of y will be given by dy over d. The value of dy is simply this one here, which is negative 1, 3, 2. And the value of d is 44. If we subtract the 2, or divide rather, we get negative 3. So that's our solution set. The value of x is simply 2, while the value of y is negative 3. Okay, 
So now let's quickly look at how to find determinants of a three by three matrix using the same approach. Okay, so finding the determinants of a three by three is a bit lengthy, but I'm sure we can do it. So let's go ahead. So let's create the three by three matrix. So the three by three matrix will look like this. We have three, negative two, one, negative two, we have a two there and a two. Here we have 8, 1, and negative 3. What we have this side is simply 9, 3, and 8. Okay. So we're going to find the determinant of this matrix, and that determinant that we'll be finding will be known as our D, of course. So let me form the three matrices um, that we are supposed to find that will guide us into the whole process. So the first thing we're going to look at will be dx. Now remember dx this is when we have to replace the coefficients of x with these values that we have here. So the coefficient of x in this case will become 9, 3 and 8. Then everything else as it is. So we have a negative 2 there. Here we have a 2. Here we have a 2 again. So 8, 1, negative 3. Okay. The next thing we're going to look at is dy. So dy, the matrix form will be, we maintain the coefficients for x, which is 3, negative 2, 1. Uh, for y, the coefficients for y, which are these ones that we have here, we're going to substitute them with this, which is a 9, 3, and 8, like that. The next thing we're going to look at is, um, of course, the coefficients for z, which we just maintain as they are. So, h, 1, negative 3. Then, lastly, the matrix dz. So, the matrix dz will be 3, negative 2, 1, negative 2, 2, 2. And lastly, uh, we substitute the coefficients for z with 9, 3, and 8. Like that. So uh, the determinants that will come from these three matrices, this is what we get as our dx, dy, and our dz. But before all this, remember we first have to find the value of d. So let's find the determinant d. So to find the determinant d, like I said, you need to know how to find the determinant of a 3 by 3. So we can set this to be our positive. This is our negative, which is our positive like that. Then we get the coefficients in the first row. So the first one is a 3. We create a 2 by 2, which will be 2, 2, 1, negative 3. Like that. So where are these values coming from? If we're getting this 3 that you see here, then we're actually forming a 2 by 2 matrix, which is formed by everything except that value and everything uh, except that row and this column. So this 2 by 2 matrix, which has remained here, is the one that we write here. The next value we're going to go to is a 2. But remember, this 2 has a negative, so it becomes a positive 2. So what will be the 2 by 2 formed? Everything except its row and everything except its column. So the remaining values will be negative 2, 1, 1, and negative 3. Like that. Then lastly, plus 8. The 2 by 2 formed is everything except this and this, like that. So the 2 by 2 formed will be negative 2, 2, 1, and 2. Okay. From there now, let's find the determinants of these 2 by 2 matrices that we formed. So we have the 3 here. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 2. Negative 2 times negative 3 is simply positive 6. Then 1 times 1 is 1. Like that. Plus 8. So negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. 1 times 2, of course, is simply 2. So let's simplify. Simplifying this, what we're going to get will be d is equals to 3 negative 8 plus 2 
times 5 plus 8 times negative 6, like that. Let's proceed and find the value of d. So d will be equal to negative 24 plus 10 minus 48, like that. So it's very easy and you avoid mistakes if you of course do it step by step. So negative 24 plus 10 minus 48. What we get is simply the value of d is equal to negative 62. Okay, so we have the value of d. So the next thing that we need to find is the value of dx, the value of dy, as well as the value of dz. So what I'm going to do is, I'll finish up this question, but for the next question, I'll just uh, give you uh, the values of the determinants and I'll request you to at least go through so that you find exactly what I'll find as well. So let's go ahead and find the three uh, other determinants. So let's start with uh, dx. So we're going to do uh, exactly what we did in the previous uh, determinant. So this is a plus, this is a minus, this is a plus. That. Then the next step will be to list down everything that we have. So we have 9. Let's say uh, uh, dx. We have 9. The 2 by 2 formed will be 2, 1, 2, negative 3. Then minus. So again, there's a negative negative there. Hence, it will become a positive. The 2 by 2 formed this time around will be 3, 8, 1, and negative 3. Like that. And lastly, we have 8. So 8, the 2 by 2 form will be 3, 8, 2, and 2. Okay, so now it's just a matter of finding the determinants of the 2 by 2s. So this should give us, we still have a 9 there. So that times that is negative 6 minus 2, then plus 2. 2 by 2 will be negative 9 minus 8. And lastly, we have 8. This will give us 6 minus 16, like that. So the next thing we'll have will be 9 multiplied by negative 8 plus a 2. Then here we'll have negative 17 plus 8 multiplied by negative 10. That. Okay, so if we move on, this will give us negative 7, 2 plus. So this and this will give us negative 34, like that. Then lastly, that should give us negative 80. So adding everything together should give us negative 186. So this is the value of the x. So we'll come and review everything. Uh, so let's go ahead and find the value of um, dy. So the matrix for dy is this one that we have here. So let's find the determinant as well. So dy will be equals to, so applying the same concept where we say plus minus plus. So dy is equals to 3, the 2 by 2 formed will be 3, 8, 1, negative 3, minus 9, the 2 by 2 formed will be negative 2, 1, 1, negative 3, and lastly we have 8, and the 2 by 2 formed will be negative 2, 3, 1 and 8. So that's what we have. Okay, so the next thing will be 3. The determinant there will give us negative 9 minus 8 minus 9. This will give us positive 6 minus 1. Then plus 8. This will give us negative 16 minus 3. Like that. So this will reduce to 3. This is negative 17 minus 9 multiplied by 5, so 5, 
plus 8 multiplied by 19. Okay. So 17 multiplied by 3 should give us 51 negative minus 45. Then 19 by 8 should give us a negative 152. So if you put everything together, so 152 plus 45 plus 51, we are finding a negative 248. So this is the value of the y. Okay, so let's do the last part now, which is uh, finding the value of the x. So this is the matrix that was formed by dz, sorry, not dx. Same concept, this would be plus, minus, plus. Then from there, the next thing we're going to do is, I'm going to say uh, dz is equals to three. Two by two formed is two, two, three, eight, like that. Plus, negative, negative, two, like that. So this is negative 2, 1 there, 3 there, 8 there. The next part will be plus 9. The 2 by 2 form is negative 2, 2, 1, and 2. So dz will be equals to 3. This will give us 16 minus 6 plus 2. This will give us negative 16 minus 3 plus 9. Then this will give us negative 4 minus 2. So our dz will become 3 multiplied by 10 plus 2 multiplied by negative 19 plus 9 multiplied by negative 6. Okay, so this of course will give us 30 minus so 19 and 2 is 38 and then uh, minus again so we know that 9 times 6 is a uh, negative 54 in this case so putting everything together which is 30 minus 38 minus 54 what we get is simply dz is equals to negative 62. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to review everything that we have found so that we find the values of x, y, and z. So these are all the determinants that we've uh, accumulated. So to find the value of x, x will be given by dx over d. Our dx is negative 1, 8, 6. Our d is 62, so the value of x is simply negative 3. y is equals to dy is negative 2, sorry, let's write the formula, dy over d. So our dy is 2, 4, 8 over 62, so we get a negative 4. And z is dz over d. The value of z, or dz rather, is negative 62 over 62, meaning that what we get here is simply negative 1. So, our solution, uh, our solution set in this case will be x is equals to negative 3, y is equals to negative 4, and z is equals to negative 1. Okay. So, with me, I have this question here. So what I would like you to do is um, just try it out. What I'll do is I'll present my d, my d, dy, dz, and dx. Then we'll find the values of x, y, z. So go ahead, try it out. Then you compare with uh, the values that I'll be giving you. Okay, so here are my determinants. Uh, the d, I found 2, meaning that the value of x equals 2 dx over d, my value of dx was 14, 
over d which is a 2 so the value of x is 7 y my dy was negative so dy over d was negative 6 over 2 so the value of y is negative 3 and lastly z dz over d the value of dz was negative 8 over 2 hence we get negative 4 so that's my solution set x is 7 y is negative 3 and lastly z is negative 4 so i hope you got it correct in case you have a question please feel free to ask in the comments thank you very much